are back for another PrentyCast Roundtable, a casual weekly show where we talk about what we've been up to in the various gaming-related stuff from over the last week. We're your hosts. I'm Chris. This is Grover. Hello. This is Mike. Hello. And Edna's directing us through text messages over there. And Savage Beatings. Uh, always so pithy. I said pithy. So what have we been playing this week, Mike? Well, I got Destiny this week. Uh, we talked about it before in the show. It's kind of the same feeling that I described the game as a person that had not played it but had heard about it. Kind of the feeling I get after playing it. <laughs> so not really too much Man. unexpected. It reminds me way too much of Halo, the entire game. It just reeks of Halo with uh, gear is basically what it is. Halo with gear. Even the storyline is very similar. I noticed that way back from the early pictures of it, and everybody was saying, no, no, these these are different purple aliens. <laughs> yeah. The Traveler does put in a kind of interesting aspect with the yep. whole, you know, fallen earth kind of thing. But what game hasn't been doing that lately? Everything is post-apocalyptic. And while admittedly, I do enjoy the post-apocalyptic scenario. It's getting a little rehash. I need something new with my post-apocalyptic, you know, scenario. Give me something new. Make me a, I don't know, magic person. I, I don't even see. I, it's done been that so too. done. I can't even think of anything. Yeah. <laughs> But as far as Destiny is concerned, didn't they really drop the ball with the story, though? They have a nice setup, but then after it's set up, it's gone. One of the biggest complaints as far as story that I've heard is that you don't get any. It's basically on their website, and I can confirm that this is true. I have no idea about anything in the world that's going on, except that it's telling me that I'm unlocking these uh, grimoires, I think. They're all on the website, which I, of course, am not going to because I'm playing a video game. <laughs> They've got the setup for it. They're just not dedicated to giving it to you while you're playing the game. Well, they've got that. characters and cutscenes and all sorts of stuff, but they don't give you enough information. The cutscenes yeah. almost seem pointless, like they're introducing characters and then doing nothing with them. I bought the game largely because I thought that uh, I'd be able to play with a friend of mine who had been talking about it. Turns out he bought it for the PlayStation 4, and I don't have a PlayStation 4, so I bought it for the Xbox One. Oops. Uh, and it is a very largely multiplayer-focused game. And mm -hmm. I've been playing single Single player just fine you get to certain areas of the game though they're they're called dark zones and no matter how many players are around me when i enter that dark zone i'm the only one there when i enter it so it's sort of like an instance i guess you could say like a destiny's version of a world of warcraft dungeon or everquest dungeon you know whatever you're familiar with from that kind of thing and uh it's not an awful game i mean it's it's really not the, the gameplay is fun uh, i've heard it gets tedious and boring i've not gotten far enough into it yet to uh agree with that but but it does already start to kind of wear thin because there's an awful lot of backtracking to the same areas. You're always dropped in the exact same location and you have to make your way to wherever your objective is on the map. <laughs> so I'm finishing an area and then going back to the beginning and then running through the area I've already finished to get to the next area. So it's, it seems like it wants to be something that it's not quite ready to beat, which is an MMO based, uh, you know, a gear based MMO or a, like a Diablo 3 version of a first person shooter, but it's just not quite there yet. Like I said, it's not a terrible game. I'll probably continue playing it uh, over the weekend, actually. But long term, uh, they've got some work to do before they're going to convince me that I should buy Destiny 2. <laughs> But that's not the only game I've, I've played. I, I also played Volgar the Viking, which is insanely hard. Uh, I made it past the first world just fine, and I, I couldn't clear the second world. I only played it for you know an hour and a half, but I was on the second world for the second level for pretty much that entire hour and a half. <laughs> so that that grated on my nerves a bit, and I stopped playing that. That's one of those kind of old school looking uh, indie games, isn't it? And when I first started playing it, it reminded me a lot of Act Razor, maybe, oh, maybe really? a more polished Act Razor. Act Razor one just minus the sim. Exactly the the movement is very similar the way you move and the way oh, you God. attack yeah i mean is it smooth like it's smooth or? it's built to look it's, like an old nes game if i remember right maybe 16 bit but i think it's more nes so you know me it's, actors, don't it's, it's more it's more like snes yeah okay but 16 bit definitely there are a lot more options for attacking than what you had in act razor uh i loved act razor it was one of my favorite super nintendo games so that oh, it, i played it it's not that. necessarily a bad thing to be in my opinion is to be like act razor but it is an incredibly incredibly hard game of uh, Volgar the Viking, and I enjoy it. Out. I'll probably continue playing it, <laughs> but it is very difficult. And then, of, of course, the other two games I've played, Smash Brothers and uh, World of Warcraft. Didn't really play any Diablo 3 this week. Uh, kind of waiting for the new season rollover to start before I get back into that. Mm -hmm. should oh, I can play for Diablo Seasons. Mm -hmm. One week. It should, be, uh, it should be rolling over in one week. I, just, patches, I utterly forgot about Diablo. Like, literally. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun game still. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's really all I've played. Uh, how about 
about you guys? I played Clash of Clans. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm townhouse five or six. Uh, I've upgraded everything with the townhouse, and as of like five minutes ago, I have 500 gold to go to the next townhouse level, which will be probably another two months of me upgrading stuff after that. <laughs> I was going to say Minecraft, but no, there's no Minecraft whatsoever. I, it's been abandoned for now. Not abandoned, just got to take a break before I go completely out of my mind. Um, I let's play it go exactly as I planned. Uh, next season of it will be different. And then uh, Balloons. Balloons 5. Uh, I'm actually in the middle of the level right now. I'm just on standby because my new microphone is very loud. It, it picks up anything and everything, including nothing. And then uh, Balloons Monkey City, which as Chris saw yesterday, I was having issues with how it runs. And well, not how it runs, but how it behaves. Uh, the way they uh, so, so-called balanced it to make it so that you're not playing the same level for five hours is to uh, add fake difficulty by taking money away after a certain point. After a certain point, you will quit getting money. So you will just lose because you don't get money anymore. You get it. It's just, it's $1 per balloon regardless of the size of it. Yeah, that's how it is. And it kind of forces you to use banana farms I don't like because banana farms are extremely overpowered. And from what I'm seeing from Monkey City, there are no difference. They, you can get millions of dollars per game. As people see in the video I just did, uh, it's, it's absurd how much money you can get. So yeah, I'm still going to keep playing it, but it's just like, ah, why, why must you shove this tower down our throats? Some people don't like this tower because it kind of cheapens the game slightly, but I do like, uh, this sim part of it where you're building your town and you can put little roads in the mobile version which do absolutely nothing but aesthetics <laughs> but uh, on the PC version there's a hardcore mode which the balloons move twice as fast and you get twice the money and uh, twice the balloon stones which is just stuff you can use to quicken stuff which they just throw at you left and right and uh, advertising 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 they just spam you with it and I was just like okay I get the point you guys want money so I threw five dollars at them and it says all advertising will stop well it's kind of a lie all outside advertising will stop they still sp- Bambi was their own advertising. Oh, that's so cheap. Yeah, and I was like, how do you make this stop? And there's like, there's no way to make that stop. I'm just like, what the hell? So, yeah, kind of crappy. They're turning into Zynga. <laughs> but then again, that's Zynga's all yet, but... That's what everybody based their models off of, so you can't be too surprised about it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's it. Just tons and tons of balloons. And I signed up for Balloons Monkey City too, but I thought I was signing up so I could... Because it's got that Facebook mechanic where when you're friends, you can share stuff back and forth with each other so they can help build stuff faster. And there is enough multiplayer mechanics somewhere in there <laughs> that uh, you can send balloons at each other and both of you actually, it's not like attacking like Clash of Clans or something where you're stealing their stuff. It's you're sending something to get points for attacking. Meanwhile, they get money for defending against your attack. So it sounds uh-huh. like a win-win that's kind of an extra fun thing so nobody gets mad at each other or anything like that. But I could friend him on the site just fine but I could not friend him actually inside the game, which is already a sign of uh, something is extremely wrong here. Mm-hmm. I reported it on my site too, and their response was that it could take up to a couple weeks to month for it to be to appear. I'm just like, oh, did you just say a couple weeks to month? Social like, tower defense game, huh? Yeah, it takes that's a month a, to friend somebody. That's a little bit backwards. <laughs> yeah, has it ever taken a month to friend anybody in no. anything in the history ever. of the internet? No, I have I didn't never. Think so. And speaking of that thing where he was talking about where you get less and less money. I was having a hard time at one point getting past level 15. I understand that I didn't go back to it for a while, so I was upgrading the city, and of course when you upgrade things you get better towers and more of them and etc. So I tried it again. I got to that level 38, and yeah. I kicked its butt from like level 28 to that point with bre- without breaking a sweat, and this was stuff I should not have been able to beat. So That's another thing that I noticed. That I do not fun. understand how they do not consider that a glitch when I am taking out these multi-layered balloons in one hit by some monkey that shouldn't have the power to kill anything more but the lowest one. And that's not yeah. broken, guys? That's not broken. So, but when you go to level 39, you get eradicated. Just instant dead. As far as tower defense games go, Bloons has always been one of the upper echelons. It's up there with the Plants vs. Zombies type of stuff. There's not very many excellent tower defense games, and the Bloons series has been at least in the 4 out of 5 territory. But Monkey City, I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep up with that one or not. Yeah, Especially since first, I can't help Grover with his It's the first Bloons game that I've sat there and just kind of like, hmm, when I looked at it. Uh, once, I, once I learned, oh, this is the first time I've actually had a serious complaint was uh, Kiwi Ninja. Mm-hmm. Things that make Grover go, hmm. <laughs> 
Meanwhile, there is still Tynan. I am still there. I keep threatening to quit, and I haven't done it quite yet, but I don't know what I'm waiting on. I think it's mostly the people keeping me than anything. And it's kind of the same way with Inferno Legend, only it's not even the people. It's just, <laughs> it's that concept of things going on in it that I so much want to put into that game I was making, but I haven't touched that game since well before my trip to Oregon. So, at least July. Why am I still playing this game for inspiration to something I'm not, I haven't even worked on in six months? <laughs> But there's been a few other Congregate games in the meantime. There was one I was playing last night, uh, Crystal Dungeon 2. I probably had that wrong, but uh, it was, it's really enjoyable. Plenty of Second Life. I haven't really been doing anything ambitious with it. Even the, the money-making stuff that I've been doing, I cut way down. And it shows I'm not making nearly as much. But if I'm not spending it, I don't need to be worrying about making it. Have been playing more Brawlhalla. They continually are updating it. They've actually got some interesting new special effects going on. One of the characters got way overpowered from it. Her reach is ridiculous ridiculous now so uh I, i'm kind of big and wary of the inca looking lady but i've also played uh smash brothers as well so and then aside from uh balloons the only other new thing i played was one i've been meaning to get around to for a while but i wanted to beat realms of uh, ancient war first aka raw and it is such kind of a trudgy game that i wasn't enjoying playing it very much lately and i thought lord of the rings war in the north was that top-down action rpg sort of thing like diablo i was wrong it's it's more of an hack and slash kind of role playing game so it's been kind of nice to play something like that again I haven't played something like that in a very long time even though I have Enslaved sitting over there for my Xbox and I've still <laughs> yet to do anything more than open it but <laughs> I'll get around to it eventually I'm sure I say that way too often but yeah that's everything that I've been playing